Ah, Herr General, I hope you have enjoyed your leave. As you know, British and Commonwealth troops have occupied the historic pass at Thermopylae. You must secure this pass and prevent the escape of the enemy. The terrain is rugged and difficult for manoeuvre. You must act decisively. Panzer General 2 is an old turn-based strategy game played on a hexagonal map. It is said by some that those games are out. Nevertheless, it won't hurt to bring Panzer General 2 back to the light, even for a few moments. I made this video several months ago, but not until now I haven't made up my mind when I shall finish it. I once been requested for a presentation for this scenario of Panzer General 2. What I will do before the battle is to overstrength the unit by purchasing X amount power. You can do this when our units have experience from battles. Sometimes a units get a leader when it reach to level 100. At the same time, the units will also gain two skills like the Determined Defense or Terrain Expert, for instance. For every hundred level of experience, you can purchase one extra manpower. From battles to battles, your units will most of the time suffer losses by land as well as in the air. But when you have finished one mission, your units get back to a normal strength of 10. All the units you have start with a level of 10 in strength. But in some of the missions, you land units that has 5 instead of 10. This can represent small brigades, maybe. You purchase and upgrade units with prestige points. Before every campaign, you can adjust how high your prestige points value shall be. The normal setting is 100, and you can go as low as 25, and as high as 300, if I remember correctly. Other than that, there is no difficult setting in this game. Also, it is important to remember that you can only upgrade your units between battles, not when you are in the field. The Templar scenario is based on the events when the Allies had to evacuate the defense of Greece during World War II. I don't expect to face a very difficult enemy, but I do know that Wallace the town slightly to northeast from my position has at least five artillery units. A junkie bomber will handle them easily, since the Royal Air Force is so limited in this mission. In addition to use bombers to destroy artillery, I will send paratroopers deep behind enemy lines. I often use paratroopers to capture airfields, but in this case, my airborne units will move a little slowly, because they will most likely be facing four units alone if he attacks too soon. If you choose to play this as a single mission and not as a part of the campaign, you will face a harder enemy because experienced troops helps a lot. I don't only have German units here, I got infantry from Italy, a Spanish infantry from the Civil War and ski troops from Finland's Winter War. I will not take this so seriously, but maybe more like a souvenir of curiosity from the different missions in the game. I think this operation will be in a four, maybe five parts video, and only the, only the first part as a commentary. Maybe in the future I will make an invasion video of Great Britain. Maybe.